Okay, guys. So, grab a coffee, grab a water, Diet Coke, whatever it is you drink. I wanted to give you a little bit of a life update for us um, and just share with you some things that have kind of been rattling around in my heart and in my mind and my hair is something crazy today, y'all. I'm still kind of getting used to it. Some days it feels really good and other times it feels like a helmet on my head. So anyways, I'm trying to, to get used to it. <laughs> so, so I had to put my coffee down because I like to talk with my hands and I didn't want to spill my coffee. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to give you a life update. I started kind of vlogging today and it turned into a big chit chatty thing, which I can tend to do. I love talking to you guys because I figure if you're hanging out here, we're friends. <laughs> so I love to chat with my friends. So that's what I kind of figure you guys as. So I wanted to give you a bit of a life update and um, tell you some things that are going on in our world and just share with you what the haps is at the Sweetly Home family. <laughs> so first of all, I will just, I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for all of your comments recently um, in regards to my uncle passing away. Um, they were just so very um, heartfelt and so very appreciated. Um, you know, it's never easy to lose someone and um, my big, biggest regret was not getting to know my uncle more, especially as we sat at the funeral and I heard all about his life and his love for the Lord and um, just the different things that he imparted into his kids and the memories that they're carrying in their hearts and stuff. It just made me sad that I didn't know him further. And part of that was because they did spend 20 years in uh, Japan uh, as missionaries. And then when they moved home, I basically was getting ready to move to Canada to work. And um, I worked for a while, then came home for a little bit, um, and then got married and moved here for good. So there wasn't that much time to really get to know him as well as I would have liked, um, which is a it's, a it's a regret, I guess. But um, I think situations like that, you just take what you can um, and you go forward and do better in your relationships and with the things that you've learned and the knowledge of how you want to proceed. So I take those lessons that he taught even within his funeral and within his dying. Um, he always maintained that his soul was at rest and I thought that was just such a beautiful thing. So. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all of your comments and um, just your kindness with all of that. Keep, If you think of it, pray for my aunt and my cousins. Um, I'm sure they could really use it as they go forward without their dad and without their husband. So, you know, if that just ever happens to cross your mind. So along with all of that, I want to also apologize for being a bit slower to get to my comments. Um, I don't like that. I love to try and respond to everyone's comment who does leave a comment here on my channel because prior to ever starting a YouTube channel, I was a YouTube watcher. I'm still a YouTube watcher. I don't watch TV, I watch YouTube. Um, and so it's important for me to always try and leave comments on videos that really speak to me, um, that I've learned something from, or that I just, you know, want to talk with my friend about. Um, and so I know the, t the commitment that it takes sometimes to leave a comment. I know that it's not always easy and I appreciate so much that you leave me comments. Um, I have been a bit slower to respond, partly just due to all the life things that are gonna, that are happening that I'll, I'll share with you in a second here. Um, and then, you know, we were traveling and stuff. And then also too, I have mentioned this before, but I also always want to leave you a real and genuine reply. I don't want to just write you a quick little do do do. Um, I, I figure if you're taking the time to leave a comment, I want to take the time to respond. I want to um, give you my heart and my whatever, just as you've given me your heart and your whatever. So I'm a bit slower in that regard. I'm a bit slow to emails and a bit slow to texting, to phone, call, phone calls. Um, ask anybody in my life. I sometimes ridiculously sadly take days to respond to people um, and it's not because they're not so amazing and wonderful and that I want to like chat with them all day long. It's because that I probably would chat with them all day long and I would be neglecting kind of just 
just everything else in my life. Um, and so anytime I respond to emails or to comments or anything of that nature, like Instagram posts and um, texts and or messages and stuff, it's because I want to sit there and actually engage. Like I, I want to be fully present. I don't want to just be responding to things while, you know, my kids are playing in the background or whatever. My goal as a mom is to always be honed in and focused on my family um, and to not be a mom who's always on my phone or my laptop or my iPad. And now that I have YouTube always in front of the camera, I want my kids to see me screen free as much as possible because I owe that to them. Um, I owe that to them um, because I didn't have a mom in front of a screen and I want to just give them the best of me. So there are points in time where I'm on my YouTube, like watching, like while I'm doing my dishes and cleaning and different things like that. Um, but I just never want to be so focused on everything that's on a screen rather than what's going on around me. So that's why I'm a bit slow. Um, please know that I will always try and respond and write back to you um, because I value you. So thank you for all of your comments and just being patient with me in general. Like nobody's ever like, hey, why aren't you responding? Nobody's ever like that. But I just also wanted you to, to know my heart. My coffee is getting lukewarm and I do not like a cold cup of coffee. So I need to drink this quickly. So I also wanted to just kind of update you with kind of the things that are going on in the Sweetly Home household as far as what's going on like with my husband's job and with our schedule and different things like that. Um, he's working like crazy. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that last year we went through a nine month layoff. And while it was really good in a lot of ways, just family time and getting projects done um, and family time really. <laughs> Um, it was a very tough season where um, it was an unexpected layoff um, and we hadn't really prepared as good as we should have. So um, the day that my husband got his current job, he was looking to go, he was literally, that very day he was calling to a job out in Alberta, Canada um, to go work out west for months at a time um, and then this job came through and he got to pick his crew and um, it was really great but now the job is coming to an end and it is crazy there are people that are quitting because the stress is so much and my husband's under a ton of stress like a lot and he's um, it's been amazing kind of to watch him um, whereas before like we've gone through really stressful stressful jobs it's amazing to watch how well he's doing with all of the pressure and I think a lot of it has to do with just how we as a family are supporting him and so um, my goal as the mama in the home <laughs> is to make life as easy for him as possible and to make life without him as good as possible for my kiddos. Um, I'm a really independent kind of person um, and Though I really miss him because he is really just gone so much, um, you know, I'm, I can, I can roll with it. Um, but my babies are really missing him and he works so much that they really, if they see him during the day, like before bed, it's like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and that's really tough and I can see it in their eyes. I can see it when they're with him, like they are just... So excited to be with him and he's um, gives them the best part of himself when he's there with him but with them but it's just tough and so for me I found a lot of me has just been wanting to pour into my kiddos and into my home and to make sure that um, I'm doing as much as possible so that he has as little stress as possible because um, he just has so much on his plate right now and that's just work wise that's not even anything um outside of that like he the man has no life because he just works so much so um anyways uh so that's kind of what's been going on with me is that i've just been spending a, as much time like being present with my family as i can and pouring into them as much as possible so that they don't feel like um 
they're getting the short end of the stick. Luckily, my kiddos are young, but it doesn't mean that they're not aware, and they certainly do miss their daddy. So, so his schedule has him working um, 12 days a week, 10-hour days, and then they're supposed to have two days off, but for now, they're working um, indefinitely. Like, there's no end in sight as to when they get days off. I think this job in particular, you can't work past 21 days without taking a couple days off. So they're 21 or 24, I can't remember. Um, so next weekend he does have off, but he does have to go to a field trial. Um, and so he has to take <clears throat> a couple dogs to that. So anyways, it's just, it's a crazy busy season of life right now. And this job will wrap up end of next month, beginning of July. So that'll be good. And hopefully he'll have some time off that he can just decompress and we can just kind of be a family for a little bit. Um, uh, so yeah, anyways, that's kind of the major thing that's going on with our family. And the next major thing is, and some of you probably already, already know this because I've chatted with you about it or you've seen me kind of commenting and um, subscribing to new channels and things, and that is this upcoming school year for second grade, we are going to be homeschooling Aubrey. I am so excited about it. I can't even really put it into words, like so excited. Um, so I was never homeschooled. I am a product of the public school system. I was prom queen at um, high school. I had a really great like school experience. I have nothing against public school by any means. Um, but I also know that it's good and it's also bad. Um, and teachers are amazing and some teachers aren't. Um, and it really had nothing to do so much with the school at all. We love our school. It's a small little school. Like they know me by name. They know her by name. Like it's just a really great place. Um, so really it just had nothing to do with the school in general. It's just that I had been feeling a pull in my heart for a while about homeschooling. And Shane was homeschooled and he homeschooled all the way up until high school um, where he went to high school um, and his brothers and sisters were homeschooled as well and some of them like their entire lives were homeschooled so like I don't know it just was something that was kind of on my heart and I'd said over the years that if the Lord led that way I would certainly homeschool but I Aubrey loved school like there was just never she wasn't having problems there just didn't feel a need to pull her from school Except that it just all of a sudden felt like that's what we should do. It just, I can't explain it. It just felt right. And Shane and I had had some conversations over the years about whether or not to homeschool. Um, and I had always said and maintained that Aubrey will probably stay in school because she loves it. Um, but I felt like maybe Colt would be the one that we would homeschool. And then it was just like the Lord laid it so heavy on my heart. And so I asked Shane about it. I said, what do you think about homeschooling? And he was like really taken aback just that I was even mentioning it. Um, and then a couple days later, the more that I marinated on it, I talked with a couple friends. My sister had started homeschooling last year. Um, and I just, the more I prayed about it, the more I just felt that it was so right. And so I said to him like two days later, I was like, so what do you think about that? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. He's like, we're going to do it. We're going to like jump in with both feet. He's like, we're doing this. And I was like, okay. And Aubrey is so excited, guys. Like the other day she asked me, she, or she said to me, I just wish I could quit school right now and be homeschooled. <laughs> like she's so excited about it. And um, I am so excited to teach her. I just, this is not my area of expertise by any means. I was never a teacher. I have a teacher heart. Like I love to teach. I've taught classes on different things and whatnots, but I am not a teacher. Um, and there was a fear in me that I would not be able to do this well. And um, it is a huge undertaking to know that your child's edu education is in your hands. Like, whoa, the weight of that is huge. Um, and so that has been consuming me probably all my 
waking moments, seriously. Um, it is what I am watching on YouTube. I have found so many like homeschool um, accounts and the homeschool community here on YouTube is pretty amazing. And so I've been just diving in, like learning about organization, learning about different curriculum, learning about how Aubrey learns, um, putting things together and researching, 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 um, and absorbing like a sponge. Like, the, like I have tabs open, I have like 25 tabs open on my computer right now of just homeschool stuff because I'm taking it all in um, and I want to do this justice. I don't want to just go into this willy-nilly and, um, you know, be unprepared and unplanned and unresearched because that ain't no way to do your child's education. So, um, at least for us. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm so ridiculously excited about it. And I have even started to toy with the idea of doing like a whole separate YouTube channel just for our homeschooling um, and kind of just not so much how to because I'm brand new, like I don't know how to, but to share like kind of vlogs of what we're doing and stuff like that. So I'm toying with that idea. I'm not quite sure. I don't want to take on another project um, if I can't run the other areas of my life well, if I can't run this channel well, if I can't run my home well, run our school well and all of that jazz. So it's we'll see if that if that happens. Um, because I also at the same time too want to share about our journey, but I also don't want to put it on here and um, if there's not a large enough audience for it, if that makes any sense. I don't want it to take over this um, main channel um, because I know it's going to become a huge part of our life. So anyways, that is like, that's what's going on with us. We are, are doing really well. I'm I'm slower at getting my videos up because I am all homeschool all the time and um, I'm excited about that. So anyways, that is our life update. <laughs> I hope you got through your coffee. Um, I can chat a lot, you know me. Um, I am working on getting a few more videos uploaded that I have filmed like a hundred years ago. So um, I'm slow like that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out. And checking out this life update, I'm going to go now and try and edit this up and get it posted for y'all because that'd be fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Let me know how you're doing down below. Leave me like what's going on in your world. I would love to know. Um, makes us it makes us better friends. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'll tell you one more thing. If you stayed to the end of this video, a sneak peek of the video that I'm going to do soon that I haven't filmed yet, but it's super requested is a get ready with me and I'm gonna share with you how I do like my foundation and my eye makeup and stuff. I'm nervous as heck about it, but I'm gonna do it because I get a lot of questions. I think it's really, I think it's the camera that just makes me look a little bit more flawless than I am. I don't do anything with the camera, I just turn it on, but I don't think I'll look this good in person. <laughs> so I think it's the camera, but I do plan to film a get ready with me. So that's gonna come.